top of the morning. Happy Sunday. It's a cold, brisk, 37 degrees out here today. I'll take it. At least it's not raining. It was like 55 and raining, but that's, I don't know. I'd rather it be 37 and not raining. I'm persnickety. Anyway. I woke up to a relatively sobering thought this morning. Not necessarily a thought so much as a... Someone told me something, and I don't betray confidences, so let me just couch this as generally as possible. If you are struggling with depression, you can't fix it yourself. You need to get help. You need to get help. It's not, there's a difference between being depressed and being in depression. Uh, one of them is, to the best of my knowledge, a recognized medical issue. If you have insurance, they'll pay for it. Typically, getting counseling for depression. If you don't have insurance, there are typically county programs or state programs that will assist you in getting the help you need. Talk to friends, talk to family, talk to people with GoFundMe accounts, but get help. If you know someone who's struggling with depression, come on buddy, if you know somebody who's struggling with depression, if they reach out to you, listen and then recommend that they go get professional help. Because as much as you may love them, as much as you may care about them, you're not a professional. And they probably need professional help. And if you think that there are people, that there's no one out there who cares about you, or that you're worthless, you're not. Even Damon Jones has people out there who care about him. You're not worthless. You're you're a, a worthwhile human being. So, so please, for the sake of everybody who cares about you, get help. Because you you only hurt the ones you love. With that sobering thought out of the out of the way, I do apologize about that. I don't mean to be preachy. Um, Anyway, uh, with that thought out of the out of my head, let's uh, let's talk about First Amendment auditors with a big capital O, because that's always more fun. <clears throat> uh, I don't know if anybody else has noticed this, but absolutely nothing's getting done. Um, auditors are going in. If they can't baffle them with their bullshit, then they retreat. Nothing's getting done. The patron saint of the California auditors. High Desert Community Watch um, has shown once again in a traffic stop that he has absolutely fuck all knowledge about the law. Trying to tell the cop that he couldn't put his hand on High Desert's car because, I don't know, reasons. Trying to do a song and dance about High Desert doesn't live in LA. Yeah. Something somewhere says you do, so. <laughs> I mean, whatever. I mean, it's all it's all fun and games. My point is, he doesn't know his ass from his elbow, and he called his he called his lawyer Felipe. I think Felipe might want to do something about that, having people call him at a number that actually goes to an actual attorney, or at least shows is going to an actual attorney, and answering it as their lawyer when he is not their lawyer. And if you're calling for your attorney to get legal advice and you get somebody who isn't even a paralegal on the phone giving you legal advice, <clears throat> then maybe you want to uh, think about the quality of legal advice you're getting. Just saying. If you, if you have an attorney-client relationship with an attorney 
and you can't speak to the attorney and you have to settle for someone who is completely, completely untrained in the law, then maybe, hmm. Things that make you go, hmm. Anyway, uh, there's that. Uh, drama, drama alert, drama alert, whoop, whoop. Uh, it looks like Granite State is out here with uh, San Joaquin Valley Transportation. So congratulations on their budding romance. I can't wait to see the, the video where she screams his name in an annoying hag screech. Uh, that'll be fun. I do wonder how Ben feels about the, uh, the woman who he mentored so dearly and um, put everything on the line for. <laughs> I wonder how he feels about her moving on to a new man. Uh, what else do we have? Um, we have Beware Mouse saying that he shut me down in, what was it, what did he say, seven legal arguments? I didn't watch it all. Um, he didn't, and if someone could link me to where he did, I'd, that'd be appreciated. Um, I am not watching Methy Mouse's videos just for shits and grins. So, if someone actually points me to a section where he makes a legal argument and manages to stay coherent and on topic through it, I'd really appreciate it. Uh, last time he tried to do that, I made a video called Beware Liars because he lied. He straight up lied. He tried to pass off the Tennessee Code of Criminal Procedure as the Federal Code of Criminal Procedure or Federal Rules of Criminal Procedure. So, whoopsie, Matthew Mouse is a liar and a child molester. So, hey, uh, what else do we have going on? Oh, um, news now, Astra has apparently heard that uh, my wife has a criminal record and that somebody has exposed me. Now, I have heard the story that somebody's exposed me to. I've never seen my wife's criminal record, uh, nor her family. Uh, none of them have criminal records, or at least not her immediate family. I don't know about her extended family. I guess I could ask. In my immediate family, no one has a criminal record. Although, I do have a niece that was busted for meth production and meth use. So, um, you might know her, Ashtray. She might be your supplier. What else do we have? What else do we have? Let me think about it. Oh, uh, News Now Rapist made another teaser video because he has to make him drag out because he's got nothing and he's a nobody and he's going downhill fast. Oh, poor News Now Rapist. Afraid to show his rapey little head in rapey public because he's a rapey rapist. Uh, BBI is doing an excellent job at protecting him, providing him a safe space on BBI's discord server so thank you for doing your part is that part of the nair package do you get a safe space as part of the nair package or is that just some service that you provide to all rapists uh what else do we got eh, i think that's about it um yeah i think that's about it anyway i do hope everybody enjoys the remainder of their weekend to the best of my knowledge Pink Camera Magic will be talking to me this afternoon at about 4 p.m. Hopefully all good stuff. Hopefully upbeat and cheerful and uh, all that good stuff. And maybe uh, between the two of us we can solve this crisis that's going on in our community with terrible, terrible people doing terrible, terrible things and leading people astray and all that other kind of fun stuff. Anyway... Thanks for watching. Have a great day.